We use the periodontal probe to evaluate the health of the periodontium. Common problems in evaluating the depth of the pocket are inaccurate depths and patient sensitivity. These can be corrected with remembering three keys of probing, adaptation, walking stroke, and access. Adaptation is making sure that the working end is parallel to the long axis of the tooth. Remember to keep the last two millimeters in contact with the tooth to help with this. So I take a look at the probe here and commonly, um, go ahead and turn towards me a little bit candy. A lot of times clinicians are flexed too far out like this or are too flat against the tooth like this. Either way, you won't be able to access the sulcus. Making sure that the last two millimeters of that probe are tied against the tooth will ensure that you are making sure that that probe is parallel to the long axis of the tooth. Walking strokes are important in order to access the sulcus in its entirety. Oftentimes, we get in the bad habit of doing a slide across the tooth in order to evaluate the depth. The problem with this is that you are actually not able to access the, each area of the sulcus. So you need to bob one to two millimeters across in order to get accurate depths. And this is where a lot of clinicians have a hard time as you enter the interproximal space. This is where access comes into play. Too often clinicians are tilting the probe to parallel, perpendicular to the tooth instead of making it just about a 10 degree angle to access that coal. One thing that helps me remember what a 10 degree angle looks like is imagining a clock. Go ahead and turn away, thank you Candy. Um, and thinking about five after. So if this was noon, I would just wanna go five after and access that coal. Evaluating the pocket depths on a healthy patient, you know that you are getting it deep enough when the tissue blanches. So here on Candy, she takes really good care of her teeth. So when I insert the probe, keeping the last two millimeters tight against the tooth, when I see that sulcus blanch like so, I'm deep enough. Don't, it's a really light grasp. You wanna make sure that you're not pushing against that junctional epithelium. You just gently slide in until you feel some resistance and you will see that blanching and you'll get a correct probe reading. So I'm gonna start here at her get ready zone, come back, see the blanch, 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 10 degrees into the cold blanch, come out, blanch, 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 10 degrees into the cold, come out, blanch, 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 10 degrees in, out, Blanchy, blanch, 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 blanchy, blanch, 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 blanch. Last two millimeters always tied against the tooth. You'll see my instrument move as I keep that into in mind, keeping my par my working end parallel constantly. Blanch.